Hi, this is Veena Prashant from DigitalAccessPass.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Buy Now page in WordPress. So it has the look and feel of your WordPress theme. It's really simple. After you install the Dapp Shopping Cart plugin in your WordPress admin panel uh, under plugins, and after you have activated it, you will notice that when you add or edit a page or a post in the Visual Editor tab, there will be a new SC Editor icon. When you click on that, it's going to bring up a page like this uh, where you can set all the buy now page options. The first step is to pick a page template. There's currently only one template, which is template one. So you can just select that. You will notice in the preview window how the template is going to look. This is just a preview. Do not make any changes here because even if you made changes, it's not going to reflect on the actual buy now page. So there is a different way to actually customize the look and feel of your page uh, in case you want to. And we will cover that in a different video, but do not make any changes right here. The PayPal image URL, the image that you see, uh, pay, check out with PayPal image. You can change it to any other image if you want by changing it right here. The message that uh, gets shown above the login form, you will notice that on the buy now page, there is an option for existing members to log in. Now this way DAP is not going to create a new account for these users and if these are existing members then their new purchase is going to be attached to their existing account. So this message that you see right here, you can change this message to anything you want. You can customize it right here. The please wait image that shows up when a user clicks on the PayPal button, you can change it to anything you want. When a user clicks right here, it's going to show a loading image and you can change that. If you don't like the image, you can change it to anything you want. Now this will this is going to show up until the user gets transferred to the actual PayPal site. It might take a second or so, so this image just shows until the PayPal site is, a uh, PayPal page is loaded, gets loaded. You can edit or add credit card options. Now you will see that these are the images that show up here and these are the options for payment. You can add or remove anything from this and this is the option you see here. If you want to add more or remove an existing option from the list box right here, then you can do that here. And if you want to remove any of the credit card images because you don't support it, then you can just remove it right here. You can just remove the entire row and it will disappear from the checkout page. This message will appear right below the email text box on the checkout page. So you notice that under the customer information, there is a message below email that says this will become your membership login email and you can change this to anything you want, this message right here. Then you can just say insert and you will notice that the DAP shopping cart shortcode shows up on the page and it has all of the options that you just configured. You can call this page anything you want. I have called it by now here. Just remember whatever you call it, you just have to note down the permalink of this page because you will need it when you actually generate the payment button because you will have to tell the button what's the URL of your checkout page. So if you have a page in WordPress like we do now, uh, you can just insert the URL of this page during the button generation. So what will happen is when a user comes in and they click on the payment button, they will automatically be transferred to this buy now page which will nicely fit in within your WordPress theme. Do not directly access this page because if you access it directly, it won't have the context of product. So it won't know for which product the buy now page uh, is being accessed. So this because without the product information, the buy now page won't work. So only use the access the buy now page uh, by clicking on the payment button. Do not directly access this page. It won't work. So that's it. This concludes the creation of Buy Now page within WordPress. So it has the look and feel of your WordPress site. Now in the next video, we are going to take a look at how to customize the look and feel of your Buy Now page.